Turn on your nightly news and you'll get stories about crime, government, and the local sports scene. Throw in a weather segment, maybe a cute animal story at the end, and the newscast is complete. However, stories that impact farmers are usually one thing missing from the broadcast. We asked some professional journalists at a recent farm tour why that is and what the media's role should be in agriculture. The next time you think the life of a reporter is glamorous, tell that to the ladies standing ankle deep in mud and dodging cow patties. Their job requires the ability to tell any kind of story, crime, education, and yes, even agriculture, in a new and exciting way. But it seems agricultural reporting often takes a back seat to other issues in the news cycle. I just don't think it's popular. I mean, it's not a flash, it's not a bang, it's, you know, something's not blowing up or anything. This is a slow, general process of, with nature, you know, sometimes those aren't the most flashy stories out there that don't get the news, but it's, it's a very important um, part of, the, of life. For the group of reporters invited to cover a recent farm tour specifically for the media, it was an eye-opening event. Well, I learned a lot. I didn't know that 100% of a cow gets used, you know. I, I did know that Jell-O is part of a cow, but I didn't know that the asphalt binds together with, you know, parts from a cow. Um, I do want to know if they don't like vegetarians out here. <laughs> All agreed that stories involving agriculture aren't the first thing pitched at the morning news meeting. People are more concerned with what's going on, whether it's on social media, the crime that can currently affect their child. They're not really thinking about what's not in front of them every day. Um, they know the food's on the table, they don't know exactly where it comes from, and they just go to Walmart and buy it, and they don't really care. And when farm stories do make it into a broadcast, it's usually for all the wrong reasons. The only time we ever really, you know, cover an agricultural story would be if Sanderson Farms kind of thing, or a chicken coop, you know, hundreds of chickens destroyed, or some of them are suffering from some type of bacteria. South Mississippi reporter Micah Barnes-Garcia says the public has an interest in agriculture stories if they're told the right way. She hopes to take what she learned at the tour back to her station. I think it's up to us as the media to make them have an interest in it. Um, it's up to us to tell those stories, to put it on their mind. But learning today that it's right here and this is kind of just the starting point for where it could go, just kind of opened my eyes a little bit just to know that, you know, Somebody could be getting beef in Texas and it's right here from our own community and so that just kind of starts for our economic development right here in Mississippi. Now one of the reporters in that story grew up on a farm so she was right at home with the cows on the pasture. The other two reporters, well, they didn't have any farming experience but everybody still had a lot of fun and learned a lot during the tour.